I think most of us agree that the best time of collecting Disney cars seemed to be in 2010-2011 when Mattel re released a bunch of new characters, variants and of course the well-known lenticular models as well as the first color changers cars and so on. But looking back at the 2018-2019 collection, I must admit that another golden age in the Disney Cars line has been introduced. I mean, in the last collection we got 40, uh, 54 new characters, including 4 new haulers and 3 launcher models, as well as 20 variants of cars such as Sterling with headset, the metallic cars and the deluxe version of Roscoe. Apart from that, there are even more reasonable variation, variations due to the Thailand production. In my opinion, the best examples here are Barry De Paddle and Antonio Villos Excellenti. And that's still not all, as we had two series of the XRS line, the Thomasville Racing Legends and Fireball Beach Racers, introducing 44 other new cars. So there are at least 120 all new models that have been made in the last one and a half years for the Disney Cars line. If I add every release, there are 211 different cars that have been made for this collection, counting every re-release either. I know I told you many numbers now, but didn't show much of all the stuff we had in the last collection, which still has no name by the way. So I'd like to dive a bit deeper in what this diecast collection revealed for collectors. To start off, we're gonna take a look at every new character that has been released. So there were four new cars in the Thunder Hollow line, which all have been included in this year's cases. Todd Crash, Kevin Riven, Mo Revlin and Motor Turner. They are all fans seen in the stands during the Demolition Derby. Two of them are female, the others male. In my opinion, they are all fantastically done, but you have to admit that Mo's scared face makes her very special as well as the detailed mud on her body and the glossy finish she got. We had six new car cars in the Rusty's Racing Center series, all of them trainees. You know that Sudeep and Kristoff have only been released in Europe and by the way, they are still sold here in some stores that seem to have ordered tons of them, whereas Tom W has never shown up in Europe. Well, what I disliked a bit of the trainees was that they all look very similar, whereas the new ones like Ronald and Junji that have been released in the 2019-20 collection have at least different expressions. What I'd like to do, what I'd like Mattel to do in future would be the trainees with the VR glasses. They are very nice. Five other new models have shown up in the Dinoco 400 series. I guess the highlights in that line were the three pities. Megan Shifter was the first new piston car pity to be released since 2010 and she's fantastically done. She was then followed by Bryn Imagier, who is named after a Pixar employee and Mike Stocker. By the way, those are one new pity of each shape, a tall, wide and a thin one. Two other new releases in this line were Vince Scanlane, one of the best campers we had so far, and the spider stop cap Dan Hallen. I would have preferred the whole hauler though. The World Grand Prix Pitties, which is the only uh, the World Grand Prix series, which is the only line for Cars 2, supported the collection with the release of four new pitties. Adam Park for Carla Viloso, Nick Pittire for Nigel Gisley, Honk Cho for Miguel Camino, my personal favorite, and Terrell Geertry for Ripplot Gonski. It's a bit weird that Terrell has been re released so late that he's even shown up in the new packaging. The Piston Cup Racer and the Next Gen series made a great contribution too, as we got 13 other racing cars. Some of the best cars for the collection were the three brand new old time racers though. The best of them in my view is Leroy Hemming as he appeared in one of the best scenes in Cars 3. Unfortunately, we had to wait for him about 14 months since his reveal in November 2018 or so. Apart from him, the series contained the heyday version of River Scott, which is awesomely done either. One of Mattel's greatest decisions for the 2018-19 collection was the scavenger hunt as it contained 12 metallic variants, which I want to mention here. All of them have only been released in one case apart from Marilyn, and they are all amazing. Well, I have a weakness for metallic cars as well as many other collectors, so they were great. The scavenger hunt also had three amazing super chase models, although I need to say that I don't like super chase cars generally, as they don't get released in Europe. Though Sergeant Highgear and Pistoxen are some very nice cars. I think Globy is the best of them, as he is such a crazy and unique car. Unfortunately, Emily Engine seems to be cancelled at the moment, so who knows if she'll come anytime. Same here with um, Brian Park Motors. 
Needless to say, the series with the most new and exciting new releases was the Color Pin series, so far as it had 8 brand new characters. Andrew Ruman, Jenny Toland, Jen Tenzedan, Bill Revs, Xanadu Bumpers and Van Den Kerr. By the way, uh, th those are only 6, not 8. I love that so much as 2019 seems to be the first year since 2010 which contains such unique and awesome background characters. I mean, ones like Scott Motors in 2015 were great, but not that special like the 2019 ones are. I think most of you understand what I am trying to describe. We are talking about cars like Duff Rex that can be used for any car's theme and vehicles like Bill Revs are really fitting for any situation. The last series missing in the main line is of course the Florida 500. The two new characters here are really, really special, because in the movie you need to search for them very intensive to even find them. Firstly here is Kiel Motore and I think she's just so brilliant. She was an awesome decision. And secondly, we have the best car of the whole collection and probably the most amazing and unique car we have ever had for Disney cars, Steve Herschel. He's the first Hirsch for cars and he has such an awesome model. I completely love him from his front to his back. Yeah, Steve is amazing. It's almost sad that he didn't play an important role in the movie. So that was it for the new characters. I already mentioned some of the variants, so let's take a quick look at them. The only new cars in the RS line, the Radiator Springs line, were Filmo with New Expression, who was released this year, and Sarge with Cannon. This Sarge variant is very awesome as I think that cars with trailers are always very cool. To carry on we had Hayley River Scott as I already said, and Deluxe Roscoe if you want to count him. The best variants have shown up in the Florida 500 series. So firstly there was a Sterling with headset, who was a great decision, although some collectors think that he was made too early. I agree that he could have been made more later on, but this release is nice though. The next one in the Cars 3 is the Cars 3 variant of Bob Cutlass, and he's very valuable as he's been changed very much. The color, the license plate and so on. We can finish with Florida Ramon and Mater with 95 head. Although this Mater variant never appeared in the movie, he's still great as he looks very, very beautiful with this hat. Some nice unofficial variants are Antonio Villos Excellenti and Barry Di Pedal, who have changed a lot too, so Barry's color is lighter than in the 4-pack version and Antonio has light blue windows and a new expression. Oh, I see this video never seems to be finished. I thought I'd get this in some minutes, but it will take a bit longer. The best stuff is done so far, but there are still some great things left. So we had three new piston cap racers released as launcher versions. The best of them is Speedy Comet, followed by Brian Spark and Floyd Mulvihill. The single version of Paul Conrad, the next gen bumper safe racer, was included in a five pack, and the last ones in the main line were the new haulers, apart from made it with 95 bolt. Um, with lightning bolt he's called, yes, um, who was in this um, Target 11 pack. So we got Steve Karski aka Brigialdi's hauler in early 2018 and somehow he was the only one to get a name because we then got Chip Gearing's Speedy Comets and Ponchi Wybot's hauler later on, all of them had no own name. Ponchi's hauler made the, the best out of them as his design is so colorful and great, especially compared to the first um, bumper safe hauler. To shorten the rest I am taking taking a very close look on the Fireball Beach Racers and the Tommelsville Racing Legends. So there are 17 Beach Racers, including two 4-pack exclusives, um, HJ Hollis and Cam Spinner. Apart from Lightning, Mater, Luigi and Guido, they are all next gens, and I like them very much. The Racing Legends were exclusive to the USA and they haven't been released in Europe, so yeah, that's the reason why they are exclusive, probably. The line contained eight racers, all of them representing an old-time racer of Dog's Racing Days. McQueen was the only one here not to be costumed as another racer. He's just a metallic version of Fabulous Lightning McQueen. So in some way he represents Dog himself. Another great extra line are the XRS racers, as you can imagine. Um, great new and own stories with them. So I think there is um, this creativity aspect. The first competition in this extreme racing series is called Mud Racing. In the first wave, Lightning, Cruz, Jackson, Cal, Speedy and Barry have been released alongside three deluxe cars. One of them weirdly was Mater. Um, and later on this year, the next wave with TG Castlenuts, Lake LePage, Dino Drafsky and the unfortunately unnamed first release of Next Gen Leagueless came out. The bad thing about this series is the real suspension of the cars, what makes them very unique. 
The second race, Drag Racing, includes Lightning, Cruz and Jackson, again as well as Brick Yardley, Tim Treadless and Spikey Phillips. The moving piston are also great and they were a nice sequel to the first race. As you may all know, there will be another XRS event in 2020 called Rocket Racing. The cars revealed for that race are very great and differ very much from the original versions of the cars. I already love them now and can't wait to see them finally released. So all in all, we had a great time of collecting in 2018-19, especially since March 2019, when all the super unique background characters have shown up in stores. As you may have noted, those backgroundies are my favorites, followed by the old time racers, the scavenger hunt and all the pities, World Grand Prix and Piston Cup. Collecting hasn't been that exciting since 2013 in my opinion. I mean, yes, there was a Cars 3 line, but in between 2013 and 17, collecting was kind of boring for some collectors, as the reasonable stuff like pit crews and background characters were moved into the back of the new releases. Also, I dislike that number system and those many little series that partly only concluded four or five cars, and the different card backs weren't that great either compared to the old and new ones. Talking about new, I think that the Blue Desert Collection continues the golden age of collecting as there are a bunch of new and awesome cars either. So we have Slim Hood, Randy Lawson and Wielder Lee, an old time RS NTV truck for the Dogs Racing Day series, as well as Hot Rod variants of Junior Moon and Smokey, not to forget the racing tractor line. Fortunately those tractors are no deluxe models, uh, models anymore as I think tractors aren't big enough to be a deluxe. That was only a way of getting more money for cars. Well, there are some great ones amongst them, especially the bumper safe tractor that will come out in a two pack with Rusty's crews. Okay, I don't want to talk too much as this video isn't about upcoming stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video as well as I did. It was uh, very exciting and awesome to look all those uh, things up and I loved searching for the stuff. Let me know in the comments which cars you liked the most of the last collection and feel free to comment on the upcoming stuff. You know there will be the sweet T2 pack coming soon as well as the Tahu Mint and Fiberful Crew Chief and many more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.